Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today, we were going to continue our series on the lives of the saints. And on this, the 21st of June, we celebrate the memory of the holy martyr Julian of Cilicia, a native of Azerbus in Cilicia, Sakunda. Saint Julian was the son of a pagan senator, but had received a solid Christian education from his devout mother, and was greatly learned in the inspired scriptures. During Diocletian's persecution, he was denounced to the cruel governor Marcion, who was in Flavius. And when he refused to sacrifice to idols, the governor had him flogged and threatened him with terrible tortures. The saint replied, I am not afraid of the torments, and nothing will make me deny the law that was given to me in my childhood, even if you burn me in the fire of these torments. For I have Christ who strengthens me, and it is to him that I unceasingly offer sacrifice of praise. The perverse magistrate forced him to swallow food, sacrifice to idols, but the saint replied that whatever is done under duress cannot be counted as a sacrifice. After having him flogged again, Marcion took him to As a Nazar bus, the soldiers beating him the whole way. Arriving in the town, the valiant martyr appeared before the tribunal, where he was sho where he showed the same resolution despite the wine offered in impious oblation that they forced him to drink and the incense that they put in his hands. He was then transferred to Agai on the Gulf of Isicus, famed for its temple of Esculapius, and was ordered to submit to the emperor's orders on pain of being consigned to the flames. Julian replied to the governor, and what is stopping you from doing that? They then summoned his mother, who had followed him, hoping that her entreaties would move him. She obtained permission to spend three days with her son in his prison, but instead of exhorting him to save his life, she encouraged him to remain firm to death in, confessing, in the confession of his faith in Christ, the conqueror of death. And she particularly said to him, You know it is of real benefit to you because I taught it, because I taught it you. Act then to give glory to the one true God. The time allowed for having passed Marcion, realizing that it had been he had been tricked, ordered that Julian be put in a sack filled with sand, and that snakes, scorpions, and all sorts of venomous animals be put in it with him, and he cast it into the sea. Although the valiant martyr's body was thus plunged into the depths, his soul flew off to the highest heaven to sit in the assembly of the firstborn. His relics were later found and translated to the vicinity of Antioch, three miles from the city of Daphne Road, where a chapel was built in his honor, greatly venerated because of the innumerable healings that took place there, especially of those possessed by demons. This chapel was burned down during the Persian invasion in 537. By the prayers and supplications of the holy martyr Julian of Cilicia, may the Lord God have mercy on us and save us. Amen. God bless you. We're here for you. We love you dearly. Don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, leave us a message on social media. Leave us a note in the comments section. If you'd like to support this ministry, remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Again, God bless you and have a beautiful rest of your day.